instance, the idea that our country was founded by so many Freemasons and Rosicrucians, among others, we ask ourselves, why do we fold the American flag in a triangle? And what does the pyramid or the triangle have to do with the American system of government on our dollar bill? If we remember that our Constitution was signed in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is referred to as the Keystone State. The reason why Pennsylvania is the keystone state, because the Freemasons that founded this country were members of the Scottish Rite, and in that Scottish Rite there is the Royal Arch Degree. The Royal Arch Degree, and of course the Royal Arch, if you do not know, was originally because of the sun coming over the horizon in the morning made the Royal Arch. The Royal Arch degree of Freemasons has been continually and ever busy throughout the world with their Freemasonic endeavors. The United States, as I said, founded in its constitution in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania becoming the keystone of a Royal Arch. There is much concerning this, into, uh, this material that we need to look at. Who are the Freemasons? Why are there emblems and symbols throughout the world on flags and emblems and symbols throughout the world on all sides of conflicts? the very powerful secret societies operating throughout the world behind our government and behind governments throughout the world and they have tied themselves in and set up what they call a religious establishment and a religious establishment is nothing more than a front man for a very powerful secret societies operating in the world so uh, they may look holy but you better do your homework there's more to religion than meets the eye here's the king and queen of England with the triangle and the circle above them and incidentally, uh, this is a whole different subject of the British royalty. The reason why we call them the royal family comes from Egypt. Osiris, Isis, and Horus were the original trinity in Egypt that was referred to in Egypt as the holy family, the royal family. That's where they get the royal family, because of the triangle of the pyramid of Egypt, with God's son, Horus, rising. And so there's nothing holy about these people at all, okay? And uh, when the King of England, interesting, when the King of England becomes king, the Archbishop of Canterbury, like we have our uh, 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 religious, uh, I don't even know who it is, but, uh, but when the King of England is crowned king, listen to what the Archbishop of Canterbury has the king say in his, inaugural, uh, in his inauguration ceremony. Uh, Prince Charles, if he becomes king, incidentally he won't, but if he did become king, would say upon taking the throne, uh, the archbishop says, you are now being crowned king of England for Jesus Christ. You are sitting on the throne of David for Jehovah, the God of the Old Testament. You are, in fact, Messiah waiting for, or Shiloh, who is waiting for the Messiah to come back. So you are going to rule God's kingdom until Jesus Christ comes back. That's what the king is told in his initiation rites. The king of England sits on the throne of the God of the Old Testament for Jesus Christ. He represents God's kingdom. And of course we understand that God's kingdom is going to unite the world in some wonderful paradise condition. And therefore the, the England is referred to as the United Kingdom.
in our discussion of the uh, Illuminati, we want to also, when talking about the dollar bill and the symbol on the back of the dollar bill, let me read to you from the Congressional Report published by the Congress of the United States, a Congressional Report, which we will be happy to provide you with if you'd like a copy. It talks about <clears throat> steps toward a British Union, a world state, an international strife. International strife is very much concerned with a world state and British Union. As we brought out before, Britain is referred to as God's kingdom, the United Kingdom. International strife which is happening throughout the world is part and parcel of preparing the world for God's United Kingdom. And America is playing its part. That incidentally, as I think I mentioned before, provides the basis for racism in the world today. God's kingdom, of course, coming through Britain and America. America being ruled from the White House. England being God's chosen to sit on Jehovah's throne for Jesus.